All right, we're gonna have a bit of a challenge today. We're gonna take the Henson Shaving Tie 22 and try to knock down 10 days of growth. <laughs> Been trying to get a hold of you, brother. Send me a comment down below. I'll give you my email address. We can get together and uh, I'll ship that razor right out to you. Congratulations. I'm going to be using the titanium one. I've already got it broke down here. Um, you know, it is a three piece razor. Uh, the nice thing with it, you know, it's a little heavier than the average uh, AR 13 made out of aluminum. So, you know, this one weighs 62 grams compared to 38 grams. Since I have so much growth, I'm gonna be using a pre-shave oil by Leaf Shaves, and I'm gonna be using their soap as well, just because it's a great combination. And when you use pre-shave oils, you gotta make sure that oil matches the soap. If you don't, your shave canals in the back, they'll get all clogged up. And that's no fun. Water in the bottom of my sink basin and, you know, just rinse it out by moving my hand back and forth. I don't like to keep running water over it. To me, that's a waste. Since it's Memorial Day, we're gonna be using Persanas made in Virginia, United States. With the leaf pre-shape, it says to add water to your face and then you know just unscrew it here I won't use that much but you know it is what it is four five six six generally works for me put that down Now what I do is I just take the soap in my hand here and I just start creating a lather. I just hold it in my hand. I've already got that oil on my fingertips and you know, in my hands. So this is gonna help, you know, remove all that oil. Now with this Simpson Talifager knot, the T3, um, it doesn't take much to load it. I mean, I just dabbed it in the water there, submerged it. I just wring it out. I don't pull on it. Just wring it out, you know, shake it a couple times. Get it kind of dry. Then just go in your hand here and grab some soap. Okay? It's that easy. The nice thing is the residue that's left off your hand is going to help pull all that oil off, off your hands. Beautiful concept. A lot of people complain, I'm just gonna take the residue on my hand here, that, you know, there's no container. Well, this is how I get around it. Let's go up here and start painting this on my face. Get some water here. Yeah. That's a lot of hair. A lot of hair. All right, now I'm just gonna create a little lather here. Just dip the tips down in there, shake it out. Great start. Persona blade made in the USA. Take the top cap, place it on top. Base plate, this goes right there. Handle, screw it in. What I've noticed with the titanium one is, like right there snug, but you got about a full turn left. She's loaded. Very simple. Let's work this up real quick. Now, as much growth as I had there, I damn near could have 
could cut in a beard. I'm at that point. It's starting to itch. So you either shave the shit off or cut in a beard. But it's summertime. I don't want a beard. Henson shaving. Now this one is the mild Henson. This is not the medium aggression Henson. A lot of people think that. I like mild razors, feeling razors on my face. First pass with it, find my spot. Seems to be removing it. Oh yeah. Okay. And see what I meant by shave oil and soap. Here, let me rinse that out. See how there's no, it's not all gelled up back here. If you use the wrong combination, you're gonna have that and it, it's gonna drive you freaking nuts. So when you leaf shave oil and it's soap works perfect together. I tell you, this is such a good feeling razor. Even, you know, the AL-13. It, they're just great feeling razors. And once you get that angle, you're gonna get some of the best shaves of your life, period. People that don't get good shaves with these are not getting the correct angle. They're pressing too hard. They're not prepping their face correctly. It's your fault, not the razor. Yeah. I mean, just love like same thing over here. You can see how good that does. It's a mild razor. It this is so different than a cartridge razor. These things are 10 times sharper than the best cartridge razor out there. Trust me, you don't need a really aggressive razor to go through a ton of growth. No, I mean, I'm taking my time on this shape too. You know, I could have a R41 and just, you know, slice right through it. That's an option. My point is, you don't need that razor just for that. You can, you can use a regular safety razor here. Now, I would have used, you know, the AL-13 mild, but uh, it's still down in Florida. Uh, it hasn't been shipped back up, so still waiting for that. Look at the difference between where it's been shaved to where it's not. I mean, total difference. No irritation yet either. That pre-shave oil makes a huge difference when you're trying to knock down a ton of growth. And one thing to keep in mind, you can do this with the regular one as well. You can. I do it all the time.
But look how good that first pass was. Just something else. Amazing. See, I'm finding that angle and I'm just moving my arm up and down. That's it. Don't fling it like you do with a cartridge razor. It's that simple. Okay, first pass, excellent. I'm just gonna go back in here. I think I might be able to get this with two passes. Now on this pass, I didn't put any more oil on my face. No need to. Just that first initial pass. Next feels good. And see how good that is. I already got it, but there we go. All right. Oh, already got that. Okay. Down below here. What a great shave. I mean, what else can you ask for? Really nothing. That is so good. That's good. All right, did get a new on block in from uh, Parker uh, Razors. Uh, thanks for that, by the way. This thing's huge. Probably gonna have to cut that in half. But it works great. No stinging up top. Mm, tingle right here. That's normal. Nothing there. Little tingle below. All right. What a fantastic shave. I would have never thought that I could have taken down that much growth with a mild safety razor and two passes. No razor burn, no weepers, no cuts, nothing. That's how good these Henson shaving razors are. And that's why they're so popular. That's why so many people are buying these. They're just flying off the shelves. They're advertising like there's no tomorrow. And there's a reason why. They're that good. I don't care if you buy the $70 one or the, you know, the $200 plus dollar, you know, titanium razor. It doesn't matter. They're all good. Now, is that titanium razor better? I think so. Is it worth it? I don't know about that, but it's definitely better. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go in now 
with some Thayer's or channel favorite here. A lot of you guys like it as well. You guys turned me on to it. I love this stuff. Okay. Very, very refreshing. All right. Put some of that on my arms too. One of my all time favorites as well is Nivea shaving balm. This stuff, really good. Just gonna, just that much. Not a ton at all. Face is kind of wet though. Okay. Greatest thing about the Nivea, it dissipates. It's not gonna hang around. And if you wanna wear cologne or whatever, or just, you know, have a fresh scent. Beautiful stuff to wear. I love it, it because it dissipates. And I can still wear cologne, and my aftershave or balm is not fighting it. Okay, all done there. So all in all, I mean, what a great shave i mean i'm highly impressed with that again what else can you ask for happy memorial day weekend thank you so much for anybody that's still active duty and all of our veterans thank you so much for your service i have a plenty of more giveaways coming up so don't forget to smash that subscribe button enter those videos when i produce them Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a beautiful weekend and I will see you down the road.